the Lord is with you. Who can come against you? I would like to encourage you by reading Acts chapter 16, verse 25. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Paul and Silas had been beaten and put in jail for sharing the good news. The opposition had stirred up trouble, and things were out of their control. They had all kinds of questions to their mind, to which they had no answer. The question is, would they have a fair trial, or be held there, or put to death? They could have been upset, worried, and losing sleep. But at midnight, they were singing, praising to God. They were worshiping God. The attitude was, we don't know what is coming, but we know that God is with us and God is in control. He is with us. And because He is with us, we can overcome anything in the world that come against us. About that time, there was a great earthquake and their chains fell off. It's very powerful when you can say, I don't know how this situation will work out, but God is on the throne and He is fighting the battle for us. His plan for us are for good. And what He started in my life, He will finish. That's when the creator of the universe will bring dreams to pass that seem impossible. And He will perform miracles and give us the breakthrough because we believe God is still on the throne. God is also with us and who can come against us? Let us pray. Father, thank you so much that you, the all-powerful creator of the universe, are with us just as you were with Paul and Silas in the prison, in the difficult times when we don't know how a situation is going to turn out. Lord, you help us to offer you a sacrifice of praise. We believe that you will work out your plan for us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.